I always joke that I've always wanted to be a seaweed farmer since I was a kid, because nobody has <laughs> <laughs> ever <laughs> dreamt that. <laughs> So many young kids leave, they just leave. And I did the same thing. I didn't see that there was a reason for me to stay in Maine until I learned about seaweed, and then it brought me back, funny enough. For me, there's a difference between a job and a career. All of our careers are gone. You yes. need careers. Absolutely. There's the potential for it to fill this gap. Mm -hmm. There's a there. huge need. I look at it like we're helping another family be able to stay in our area and not move away, like so many others have. We have a huge opportunity here on the coast. How can we take this tremendous asset we have, which is cold, clean water of Maine, and more coastline than the state of California? If I can contribute to the environment and food in a really positive way, I'll consider myself to be really, really lucky. I would love to see small towns like yours be able to sustain itself without becoming reliant on the tourism industry. It seems like seaweed has such a potential to be an income source for people to actually live in these coastal communities. Hopefully, like, this conversation and what we're all doing on the water can show people it's not scary, because it's not. It's changed to continue to be who we are.